This is the moment of truth. If we're going to fulfill our promise to Neil and get the car screaming at Brooklands once more, then this has got to work. Hey, go, Claire. What do you think of that? Oh, it's not bad at all, is it? Considering how it was before. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of distortion there, but it's not too bad. I think we can live with that. Thanks very much. It's fantastic. You've got to do 150 mile an hour on that now. Yep, don't tempt me. I'm going to get that back to the workshop and straight on the car. The only thing we need now is a set of tyres. Rubber might start growing on trees, but before it's a tyre, the black stuff's going to have to spend some time with Dunlop, being pulled, stretched and rolled into shape, just as it was 90 years ago. The real skill begins when each of the layers is glued into place by hand and the edges built up. This rubber band is then placed inside a vacuum mould to give it its basic shape. The final part of the process is sticking it in an oven, squirting in water and baking the lot.